putting on their happy faces, Prince William and Princess Kate were spotted out about in Boston just hours after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's explosive Netflix documentary series trailer had dropped. The Prince and Princess of Wales, both at 40, were all smiles when visiting the non-profit Roker Incorporated in Massachusetts on Thursday, December 1st, as the two soon were photographed waving to fans for their second day in the US. According to reports, hundreds of people had waited to see Kate Middleton and Prince William in the rain, as the couple could arrive on an official visit to the US. Whereas no one cares about Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries, because if they did, they'd be home in the heavy rain and trying to watch the Sussexes' ridiculous trailer. Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, greeted the royal fans that stood to see the royal couple despite the low temperatures in Boston. The crowd has grown to hundreds, as this is the only section of the crowd that had gathered in the downpour. They were waiting out the storm to see Prince William and Princess Kate, said a commentator. Moreover, Kate Middleton had left one young royal fan in tears of joy. After today, she and Prince William embarked to the impartial walkabout. But any fears that the Prince and Princess of Wales might have had to add damage to the reputation in the US in the wake of the Buckingham Palace race rue or the ill-timed release of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's explosive Netflix docuseries. Well, they have put aside today as they were warmly embraced by the crowd of American fans. Following their first engagements of the day, which saw them visiting a climate innovation company and a non-profit organization that works with youth at risk and urban violence. William and Kate spent time greeting a group of well-wishers who had gathered in the frosty weather in the hopes of catching a glance at the royal pair. One particularly emotional fan broke down in tears when Kate had approached her, and before taking the princess's hand, thanking them for everything that she has done, you've been so lovely, thank you for everything, the woman had said, while holding Kate by the hand, having burst into tears when she had saw the mother of three making her way over to her. The moment was one of many touching interactions between the royals and their fans. As a surefire sign that the controversies that have overshadowed their first US tour in eight years certainly not dampened their own popularity. Indeed, crowds of delighted well wishes will no doubt have served as a very welcome moment of likeness for Kate and William, who had started their day off with the news that Meghan and Harry had released a bombshell first look at their upcoming Netflix documentary, just hours before the Prince and Princess were due to kick off the day two of their tours. The Prince and Princess of Wales met in Boston, Major Michelle Wu and Governor-elect Maura Haley at the City Hall and had then sat courtside at the Boston Celtics vs. Miami Heat NBA game that kickstarted their three-day trip focused on climate change. It's the beginning of the visit which comes after racism claims from William's brother Harry and a mixed race sister in law Meghan, who has, however, overshadowed her resignation and apology of 83 year old Susan Hussey, one of William's six grandmothers. A Kingston Palace spokesperson has reiterated comments made ahead of the trip that she would not be distracted by other things this week, and that their focus today was on meeting communities and local people across Boston. <laughs> 